Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragon. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, hold on. 3, 2, 1, go. There we go, that's better. Seriously? Or do you, do you just want more money? I mean, I ain't mad at that. <laughs> but she couldn't take no for an answer. Uh, of course. <laughs> Bam, what? Mm. Oh, <laughs> okay. I can't look on my own. Yeah. No. When someone new gets hired, you have to train them. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Number three. Why is volume three so freaking big? How much did you revise, Alma? Damn. Watch it be a no-go as well. Oh. 
Of course, because we don't know go. Oh god. I would be so fucking scared. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Her. Right? small little hope that it would but it happens nice try guys You gotta love Elmo. He's like, I am not giving up on this. We're gonna get this. Mm. Even Toru! So good. Oh. <gasps> That's what I wanted while I was at Walmart. I wanted Poggy, but I didn't get any. Oh no, I can just go to Five Below because it's cheaper there and you get a bigger pack. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um. So you want, I'm going to go. Yeah, because Edith can't go because she's got work probably. I still can't believe freaking Shota's VA is the same VA as what's her face from my Katsu. And then what's her face from Project Tokyo Dolls? Because that sounds nothing like her! Mm. 
But I know she voices somebody else, but I can't think of who. Well, damn, Psychala. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my day. <laughs> By yourself, though? Wait, you shouldn't do. Huh. And all three of them are gonna get lost. Yeah. You lost the kids, honey. <laughs> you were so into playing with the damn water. You fucking screwed. Exactly, and you're so close. Oh my god! Yeah, that's Elma um, looking for you guys. Okay, now just stay here. Well, she got worried. How far is Elma gonna go? why but Toru was acting like freaking um <laughs> not Kobayashi um Kaguya <laughs> oh god oh poor bear It's so beautiful. I mean, she was sucking it like it was a dang honeysuckle, Jesus. Ah, yes, my favorite couple.
We doing battle or some shit? Uh, yeah. Oh, is this gonna be like the you know when Kana and <laughs> and Toru played and come <laughs> in season one? Oh god, it's probably gonna be much worse. to be referees. Ooh. Seriously? Uh, well, these two might go all out, goddammit. That's pretty. I I'm about to say, yeah, because if that's your rusty, I hate to see how you are really bad. This is you, boo boo. Girl, I mean, you claim your eyes are sweet, so I mean, damn. You probably don't even want to go home yourself. True. Yeah. But you over here crying about sweets. Somebody was about to buy the last freaking two. And you were like, eh, and then he bought the only one. And you still got something, boo boo. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. We starting fresh. We good? I mean, shouldn't y'all stop them now? Yeah, because yeah, honestly, I think, you know, Kobayashi, season one, you would have been wilding over this ish, but, you know, because this is your normal, it's okay. I don't know why also some, in a weird way, it was kind of calming. <laughs> Can we just say you both won? See? Ain't that good? <laughs> because it's Kobayashi's money. <laughs> told me especially with the episode where we got the flashback on Elma and Toru and it's a couple of weeks ago that we were going to see these two fights so I'm not really surprised about this fight that did happen I mean it was very nice I mean whoa we want to talk about that quality like oh my god Jesus like you know you just you love when freaking kill Annie it's like let me go ahead and flash my ish and be like you go look at me like yes bitch yes like oh my god it's one of the best things why I love this series so much and anything that they make because they just ah, oh. there's anime and then there's fucking anime and you're just like huh like mm, good ass gorgeous works of art and you just want to be like yeah I'm like screenshot this and that and everything else and then you know you're probably gonna hang it up on your wall and be like yes art <laughs> But in a way, you know what, I'm glad that these two are kind of starting on a different, you know, kind of like clearing the air and let's start off on a different foot. This is that and the third. But at the same time, there still is tension between Elma and Toru. I'm glad that Toru apologized and such for leaving her and everything. I thought it was really cute. I mean, damn. Like, oh. And Elma, you... you <laughs> Your propaganda is in the beginning of the episode. I loved it. So forget. Are, are we in New York City? Oh, she's cute! <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're going to New York City. I, I wouldn't even be surprised about that. But yeah, because honestly, she... The, girl looks adorable and she's probably gonna even be here for one episode and one episode only we will probably never see her again how we probably won't even get merch of her and it'll be okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But <laughs> it looks really good i think it's just gonna be a whole episode about you know kana and i mean what's not to love about kana to have a whole whole fucking episode on best child i'm happy <laughs> Because she baby, and I love her so much. And she just needs to be protected. But, like, yeah, I, I think, you know, this was a really interesting episode. Especially for, like I said, the relationship of Toru and Alma. Um, plus, Alma <laughs> she talking and freaking showed his dad. And being like, yeah, you know, we have some changes that we want. And, and Alma was so, she was on this, like, we are going to get this. Like, boom, like, I want this. I demand for this to happen. Poor baby. Like, and then the fact is, Elma, like, you also lost the damn kids. But at the same, it, it, okay, it's not only Elma's fault, but it's also the kids' fault. Because the fact is, the kids didn't tell Elma where they were going. Plus the fact is, Elma was being so distracted by the nice, pretty, clear, blue water. I, I know I would be too, because that water was gorgeous. I mean, oh my god. So yeah, of course, if you're playing in the water, yeah, you're going to get distracted by that. But also, poor the, the poor bear. <laughs> the poor bear and the snail, like, oh my god. But, mm, still hoping that Psycho, you know, 
finds out of the existence of dragons by the end of the series. I mean, because, like I said, we talked about this last week. And there was another point where Alma just, like, you know, she pops up. And then, yeah, she's just like, yeah, go to sleep. And, you know, we're not going to, we're just going to pretend that that didn't happen. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, praying that, you know, by the final episode, um, or the second to last, maybe, yeah, like, yeah, the second to last of this series, we have her officially find out. Because she, she is the only one. Her and, um, what I like to say is, <laughs> introduce boyfriend. <laughs> They're the only two odd ones out, so they need to know. But, I mean, unless this show gets a season three, I maybe let them find out in season three and then be like, oh my god, like, what the heck? And ish, but, yeah. Other than that, it was a damn good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's Made Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match with Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye, guys.